Hey there Jet Boosters, this is RR Abrat, here to help guide you how to set up sorting using a select drop-down element. This allows a user to sort through your CMS and select how they would like to view your CMS and in what sorting method. Let's go ahead and hop into our Webflow Designer. As you can see here, we already have our CMS set up and we wanna allow the user to be able to sort through uh, this collection using either alphabetical or maybe a date or something like that. Now you can go ahead and actually do this yourself here in Webflow. We can go ahead and click the collection list. And if we go to the element settings, we can go ahead and click sort order we can sort it however we want. We can sort it in plain text, alphabetical, A through Z. As you can see here, it's already sorted that way. But the problem here is, is this is only done really by us, the creator. A user is not able to sort this manually themselves using the browser. Now that is where JetBoost comes in. Let's go ahead and learn how we can allow a user to sort through these collection lists, whether A through Z, or Z through A. And also you can use that option for other methods as well, whether it be by uh, last uh, newest to oldest, oldest to newest, or whatever things you can think of. Those are probably the more common ones, right? So we'll go ahead and go to our JetBoost dashboard. And we'll go ahead and add a new booster. This is our JetBoost dashboard. We already have our website connected and our account connected to JetBoost. We already even have another booster here that we created from last time. Now let's go ahead and create a new booster. We'll click add booster right here. And what we're gonna add is dynamic list sort. We'll go ahead and click dynamic list sort and then press create. And then now what we're gonna do is really just follow the directions. Just a quick reminder that for performance reasons, sorting is only limited to 2000 items, right? So let's go ahead and follow our directions here. Which collection on our site do we want to sort? Well, we're gonna go ahead and click collection list and then we'll click blog posts. Now, if at any time your collection list or maybe your field is not showing, you wanna go ahead and click this button right here, which kind of refreshes it and tries to see if there are any new things that have been added since the last time. We'll go ahead and go to this field and then what do we want, uh, what field do we want to sort by? And in this particular one, we're gonna sort by the name because we're gonna do alphabetical order. And then we'll just answer this quick question. Do we want to add an active sort to the URL? If you would like to do that, that's kind of like adding a UTM parameter, which is a different topic for a different time. For now, we'll go ahead and click no. Now let's press continue. And first step is finished. Now notice here, it went ahead and skipped the second step, which is the JetBoost script. And the reason why is I'm using the same website that I've done with all of my tutorials. And this script, I put it in the project settings. And because we've already done that, you actually don't need to do that anymore. You really only need to do this one time. One thing that I do recommend though, is that you use this, you, you put this uh, code on the head in the project settings so that every page will have it and not just one page. So that in case you add any new boosters all throughout your site, you don't have to keep having to replace the script. So let's go ahead and move on to collection list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this collection list name, this kind of randomly generated code um, so that we're able to connect it to the collection list wrapper. Go ahead and click the wrapper right here or the, the um, class name. I will go to the designer and go to the collection list wrapper and then add this class name. So I paste it. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add this embed in our collection item. Now, it really doesn't matter where you add it. This embed will not show on the HTML. So you really can just add it anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the bottom wrapper right under this paragraph. So we'll go ahead and add an embed. And then we'll paste that code and save and close. Now we're gonna go ahead and test it, but a couple things you wanna do before you test it. First off, you always want to publish, okay? So we'll go ahead and click publish. 
JetBlue will not detect it if your site is not published. But what's awesome is JetBlue will remind you if you publish it or if you connect it, if you test it, continue and it's not published, JetBlue will actually remind you, did you publish? Really cool. So now we published it. We want to go ahead and test continue. But before that, we want to make sure that we are selecting the right URL. This particular one is called sort, I believe. We'll go to our page settings. This is our URL. So we want to add the word sort. So we'll go ahead and add that slug sort. And then we will test and continue. And there you go. It detected the class name and also the embed code. So now we'll go in and set up our sort element. Now, what element are we using for sorting? We are not using a button. We are using a select field. So we'll go ahead and click select. And then here we have our select element already. And if I go ahead and go to this published site on this particular page, we have it right there, A through Z and Z through A. And if you want to add this, all you have to do is really go to your, um, your page and add a form block. And in that form block, you want to add a select field right here. And in that select field, you can go to the um, settings, the element settings, and add the different type of choices you have for this kind of select field or select drop down. Now, once we've added the select element, we want to check our select options. With this particular one, we're going to be sorting from A through Z and Z through A. So notice here, if we want to sort by name A through Z, we want to go ahead and grab this particular value name. Okay. So that's sort ascending. So notice, by the way, you can also use this for your numbers. Now you want to make sure that your numbers are displayed a certain way. Um, but if you do that correctly, you can then also sort um, ascending or descending using your numbers on a date. All right. But with this particular one, we are sorting A through Z and Z through A alphabetical ascending and descending. So let's start with ascending. Go ahead and copy this. And what we're going to do is go to the select field, go to the element settings, and then go to the choices. So let's go ahead and zoom in right here. Here's our A through Z. We'll click the edit. And we want to input this on the value. And then we want to go ahead and copy our next one. And then input that on this value where it says Z through A. Okay. All right. Now that we have that pasted in the value, first thing we want to do is we want to publish. Now, once we've clicked publish, we'll go ahead and make sure we have the right slug. It was sort, test, and continue, and check mark. There we go. And then JetBlue says there are no issues detected. Please continue. We'll go ahead and press continue and party on. You've already set up sorting with JetBoost. And so once we've done that, we'll go ahead and go to the staging site and actually go ahead and click this right here and sort by A through Z and Z through A. That my friends is how you set up sorting using a select drop down element using JetBoost.